Hi, it's Trisha, and I want to go over the trades for Monday, May 11th. And you can check those out at www.easyinminitrade if you want to see the setups. We use two setups using two tick charts um, and also a time based chart with indicators for confirmation before we ever take a trade. So, yesterday we took a trade at 10.01 in the morning based off of our longer tick chart. And we have our trend line here. We had a break where we had a close above the trend line, above our moving average, and our indicator was in alignment. So entered in um, a half above this bar. And you can use a quarter above this bar or a half. It's totally up to you. I used a half. And then you would use your stop, your initial stop, a quarter or a half below the bar as well. And then you would just continue um, to trail your stop under the low of each bar as it progressed and you can use a quarter or a half as of late I have been using a half just because it tends to keep you in just a little bit longer if the price is going to pull back but that will totally be up to you and so I still am exiting in my um, you know third a third a third so I got my plus two and my remaining two thirds I actually was trail stopped out over here with plus one on my remaining two thirds of my contracts the most that you would have gotten would have been three points. Um, so obviously, depending on how you're managing your trade, you could have gotten better than your plus one on your remaining uh, contracts. But that's how I choose to manage. And we had a trend line break here, and the entry um, was never triggered. We never got above the high of that bar, so ca I canceled that. And that's it. If I don't get on in on my very next bar after I have a setup, then I cancel my order. I don't. Like let's say that it didn't trigger here, but then over here it did. You know that to me that that trade is void. It's it's voided. I'm not going to take it now. We had um, actually here a trend line break, but I didn't have confirmation. So we had a trend line break here. We closed below it, but my indicator was not in alignment for me to go short. So that would that was not something that I took. This was too late in the day. I was actually gone at three, but even if I was here, this actually you would not have um, set up until almost 325. And I don't trade after 330, so that would have been something that I would have passed on just because of the time of day. And, you know, lately we haven't had really any squeezes to use off of our smaller tick chart because something is always out of alignment and what I mean is we get a squeeze firing off but maybe we're not closed above or below the moving average where we need to be or our indicator is not where it needs to be so something is just always a miss when we're getting our squeezes but you know not to worry it'll it'll change I'm sure and we just take what you know comes our way and we make the best of it and um, you know the setup is working out just fine while we're waiting for our squeeze and um, if you'd like to check those out, um, you can check those setups out at www.easyeminitrade.com.